If your love life were a food item, it were a restaurant, a dessert, you name it, what would it be? <laughs> In and out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wesley Woods. Welcome to another episode of Sexy Funny Raw. <laughs> and well, today it's you know 2020 holiday season, and the only thing I've done is eat, sleep, masturbate, and repeat. I feel like that's everywhere. <laughs> it's like quarantine. It's like people are finding like their baking side, their cooking side, literally, their and their masturbation side, side what they yeah. like and don't like, which are all great things. Yeah. I support the baking and the fingering and whatever jacking off you might be doing. Do you suggest mixing the two? Um, yeah. I actually have gotten really good at my left hand too. Yeah, which- Oh, like cooking or fucking? Oh, jerking off. Oh. <laughs> I like... was thinking I was so talented because this morning I was making eggs and fl flipping bacon. So I was like- Hold on, talented. you were flipping bacon with your left, left hand. hand? Yeah, I was like so proud of myself. There's no way, I would have been like burned. <laughs> Well, today's topic is food porn. food porn. Now, um, I wanna just jump right into it. What is food porn? Well, it's anything that makes your mouth drool. Really, the only word for it is... I was thinking it's anything that you, like food-wise, use in porn. Ooh, that's true. That's the route I took it, okay. but I was also, you know, trying to be a little <laughs> PC, and it's typically anything that makes you drool, but... For us, oh, we're doing okay. things, you know, that's, it's gotta have porn in it, y'all. Come okay. on, that's why you come here. What are some foods um, you typically drool over and what's some porn that typically gets you wet? Mm, do they have to involve each other? No, not at all. Okay, because foods that make me drool, mashed potatoes, hands down. Mm. I fucking love some mashed potatoes. Mm. It's crazy. Oh my God. Oh. If you're from like the South or the Midwest at all, I feel like you grew up on potatoes. And you can't find potatoes out here. No, it's really tough actually. Mm, it's mashed so potatoes. weird to me that mashed potatoes are not served with everything. I'm telling you right now though, I'm not even it's mad right. when a butthole gets to mashed potatoes kind of like Taters are just about done. I'm just gonna give them one quick whisk. Okay, now dig in. That soft little mac and See, cheese, mashed like potatoes. That's more like a butter. <laughs> like a, I'm a, okay with the butter. What did you call it? The booty juice. Booty, booty do, booty do, booty do juice. juice. <laughs> so. Yeah, I like that. Mm. I do love some good old comfort food. That's what gets my mouth yeah. going and. Yeah, I mean, as far as porn, I'm down to watch anything. Oh, I forgot watching. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, obviously, like, I'm down to watch everything, but I'm just, like, more penises, the better. Yeah. If I really, like, I love a full penis scenario. Like, Ooh, how many? I don't know, just all the dicks. Uh, that's why I like <laughs> gay porn, because I like watching dick on dick. Like, I don't even need a vagina in the room. Like, Do you need the dicks actually penetrating? They're penetrating whatever. They can, I like I like watching guys jerk off. That mm. even turns me. I off. like I mean, that yeah. too. I'm not gonna lie. Like I really love a guy to just get into like dirty talking and jerking his dick off. You do the work. I'm tired of doing yeah, it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I make all sorts of like jerk off videos all the time. I'm like, how am I the one telling you how to jerk off? Like, oh, that you is a know thing. Is what are those called? Thing. What is jerk it like? Instructions. instructions. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, I, you've got to do a step one or two for us at least. Well, like. I mean, I always start with like, mm, it's your dick hard. Mm, how do we get that dick hard? Damn, that's hot. Like that. Like that. And then you're like basically saying it's okay to do this and do that and, and I, I say want things you, like yeah. grab it tighter and get it extra wet. You have a slide in my pussy. Oh my god! It's like that. making me sweat. Like well, let's roll into this then. Do you, have you ever had any clips that you've used with like food or? Oh yeah, I yeah. for sure fucked like cucumbers. I feel like every woman in her life has at some point fucked a cucumber or a carrot or some. Vegetable. Penis like veggie. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And this is a statistic that you came up with. All by myself. <laughs> I still think it's very accurate though. I mean, hey, if you've done it, I'm sure other people have done it. That's my thing. Like if I've done it or thought of it. Other people have done it. And if I can Google it. 
Oh, for sure. Other people have done it. Yeah, I feel like there's full like salads being made in people's assholes. Oh my God, well isn't it like men.com like literally had a porno that was like not in front of my salad or some <laughs> shit, right? I don't remember. It was like I feel a, like I might have been in that movie. <laughs> probably. You're always playing the mom, yes. like getting someone like some sort of after school Where I snack. pretend that I don't want them to fuck in front of me. <laughs> so you've used cucumbers. Are there any yeah. other foods you've used? Like um, chocolate? I mean, I've done like the chocolate syrup thing. Do you remember when um, uh, Varsity Blues was big and everybody was doing Girl, the Girl, cool the Cool Whip and the whipped cream. Yeah, yes. I did that I, for my high school boyfriend. Okay, so that movie was trending, I think, on Netflix a couple weeks ago <laughs> and I literally almost watched it because of that scene. Because of that scene. Come here. Yeah. But you actually did that to him? No, like I did it like for him, like put oh. it on my nipples and stuff. But it gets a lot dirtier than you think it does. I knew like you, you were that wanna, girl. You don't want to do it in your own bed because it's like sticky and gross sticky. and nasty. And then we like thought chocolate was a good thing, and I'm pretty sure we even had strawberries. Y'all were just really going for a You know, like, because when you're in high school, like, I guess I was. That, like, hold I was, on, you were in high school? Yeah, it was totally like a Mark yeah, moment. that's exactly it. <laughs> yeah. You're just trying to, like, create what you see in the movies. You don't know totally. any different. So totally. you're like, I have to do this in order to, like, satisfy my it's man. It's true. Like, so that's what I was doing. I, um, very different in high school, was part of the... Special Olympics fundraiser, and I was a human hodgepodge Sunday. Oh. Which was not sexual. I actually, was gonna say, wait, how did that get sexual? Actually, um, well, I mean, hello, I'm sexy and I'm dressed as a hot fudge Sunday. A couple of the kids so were, were trying to lick me. Yes, a oh. couple of kids were trying to lick me. But what I did was I allowed them to come up and like throw stuff on me. Okay. It seemed fun and like yeah. enjoyable, but like you said, I was covered head to toe and hot chalk, like chalk, it was a disaster. And you made me think of another story of a time I was food porn. It was like for a party in Kansas City. And I used to do all sorts of like promotional modeling. Like I was uh -huh. like a monster girl and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'd do you would go like to the events. van. Yeah. yeah. But one time I got paid um, to do, I can't wait to it was like body art, but then they made me like a sushi. I was a sushi plate. Like there was like literally food on sushi. You. All over my body. I always wanted to do and that. And were like eating off of my naked body. Like it was like a whole Did you end up thing naked? all night long. Yeah, like I laid on this table for like fucking hours. Eventually, oh my God, can you imagine? You're like, please don't fart. Yeah, like eventually like they got like, cause they kept coming over and like refilling your like, your plate. Titties. Yeah. And they're like, they're like, are you okay? And like eventually like I'd be like, you know, I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom. And then I'm pretty sure like I just didn't go back to my table and I just got drunk. Like, cause that sounds like something I always do. That is hilarious. Yeah, yeah um, yours sounds a lot more like clean and classy and yeah. sexy. And I just had stuff thrown on me mm. and fucking sprinkles. So, I had sprinkles in my ears. I'm sure somebody still like masturbated that for like days on end, if not years on end. I'm sure. Know. It reminds me of a story though. One of the girls I went to high school with, I have not talked about the story in so long. She, oh my God, was like, I don't know how we got on the topic, but she was like, you know what? I found my man cheating on me last weekend. So instead of breaking up with him, I just, okay. got, <laughs> I just got a can of peaches and put them in my pussy. What did you say? I said, what? She what? said she had the canned peaches. She put some of those canned peaches out. And I guess they're like soggy. And like yeah, they just, are gross. Yeah. And she just put some up in Why? her pussy a little Why? bit and then around her pussy. And so when her man came to visit her, she was like, you want some of this peach pussy? And I guess he was like loving it and well, eating yeah, it. Well, yeah, I'm sure it like... tasted amazing, but I'm sure she got some sort of infection from that. I don't know. Apparently it worked though. Her man never cheated again. I think they have like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve kids. Oh, then he's cheated. <laughs> you think? I don't know. I mean, how, can you have time for that? Okay, let's uh, fast forward though. Well, um, we can have cheat. <laughs> Really though, honestly, and really especially though. in this day and age, really though. I mean, it's e it's as easy as ordering at Uber Eats. Mm -hmm. You can you order done, I was gonna say, you could have done it with your Uber Eats. <gasps> or your Uber, or you can just get on an app and order a sex. penis. I was gonna say Or a sex. vagina, yeah. like, you don't really even need anything. Yeah. Have you had more memorable food experiences or sexual experiences? Ooh. 
Because I mean, food's a big one for me. I'm like, if you can really yeah. wine and dine, I'm like, oh my God. I feel like as a culture, as an American culture, uh, not even American, I feel like as any culture, it circles around food. It circles around meals. Yeah, it's a so social I feel like, thing, yeah, for sure. Meals are definitely something I like, like, you know, you think of like, oh, I can't wait to go home and have Thanksgiving dinner, you know? Because like, you, know, you can get that at any point in time, though. But you could. But, <laughs> but it's not the, yeah. yeah it's, it's not the same you think about it. You've just been it, programmed you know? into like, like, yeah. And I do have like some good like sex memories, but yeah, probably about equal. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I would say I have way more sexual. Oh, I thought you were going to say food. <laughs> no, I mean, I love my food, but you know me, I'm a really I picky know. eater and I'm like, I'm so... not picky about who we fuck. Yeah, so. so... There's that! <laughs> well, at least it's a door fix question on your deathbed. <laughs> Are you picking one last amazing meal or one, ma one last amazing romp? I can't have both? No, honey. You, you're frail. You can only have enough energy to ingest I mean, fuck, penis or food. Fuck fucking. Me. Because, yeah, like, what's the food gonna do? Like, I'm gonna be dead. I don't care if I die hungry. Oh, God. See, I didn't even think about that. I changed my answer. I didn't even give my answer and I changed it to having sex for sure. Yeah, you were gonna do a meal? Yeah, kind of very like um, prison sentence last meal kind yeah, of but thing. That's but then prison. I didn't. Yeah, now that you. You gave us a totally different answer. <laughs> yeah. In my head, because I'm a criminal. Like if, I feel like if they were giving inmates the option, inmates would also choose sex, don't you? Uh, I think majority I of people would choose sex over food. Same thing. How long can you can go six or seven days or without something without food? food. So I'm, like, uh, I go about three days and I'm ready to whoop someone's ass if I don't. Gotta come. Literally. Yeah. I have to like multiple times in a day. I feel like or I get crazy. Yeah. Kind of like food. If I don't come multiple times in a day, or eat. eat multiple times in a get day, I get grouchy. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of people. Yeah. All right, last one. Okay. If your love life were a food item, it were a restaurant, a dessert, you name it, what would it be? <laughs> In and out. <laughs> I am dead, deceased, my wig is snatched, whatever the other sayings are, that is hilarious. I need you to get in and out, there's usually a line that's forming. Oh and my it is, god! And it is world renowned for being one of the best. And quick! <laughs> there's... Quick and fast and made to order, baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, on that note, I was like, shit, I was gonna say like, I would definitely be probably some sort of buffet. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Ah, what? Well, because you can get a good chicken fried steak dinner there, honey. <laughs> Breakfast is served. I've been there like 24 hours a day. Oh, true, open. true. But I would say a buffet. If you're willing yeah. to pay for the meal, then honey, you can come and have you as much have as, as you want. That's, fair, That's a fair statement. <laughs> this was a fun episode. Uh, and we were I a little like concerned. That. Food porn. Well, we combined food, we combined porn, <laughs> and we made some food porn. Yeah, references. we did. <laughs> so that's it for today, you guys. If you yeah. like what you saw, until next time, click subscribe. Bye, y'all.